Hey guys, I'll apologize ahead of time. I don't have my tripod anymore. It got destroyed in the storm. So I'm doing a quick video before I return this thing. It's a beautiful product. This lay it, I don't know how to say it, lay it 5.5 or pro 5.5. Um, very quality feeling. I'm going to give you my pros and cons real quick before, like I said, I return this. So here's my pros and cons sheet. If you can see that, it's kind of written crappy, but pros. What I liked about this thing is you got the rib protection too. Um, my friends and I bruised ribs here and there. Um, so I added that in. I was looking for something with rib protection just because I have fallen on things and come really close to some serious rib injuries. Almost punctured myself on a tree once. And the other part is it's got a very complete protection. You got shoulders, elbows, chest, and back, as you can see, and the ribs. So it's one of the more thorough things. Now, I'm going to stay with the pros. What it also, you got a little bit of kidney protection to it. It also hugs you really well. It fits, for me, I'm, I'm 5'10", 165 pounds, and it fits me like it was custom built for me. Uh, it's got a very good quality, you know, feel and look. Uh, so I think it is, you know, a good quality product. Uh, it's perforated nicely because I live in South Florida. I'm trying to ride like a uh, electric motion escape through tight woods and rocky, you know, super technical stuff. And I am dealing with South Florida heat, so I'm trying to stay as ventilated as possible, which is not easy. Uh, so I only wear a jacket, no undershirt, no jersey, just these armor jackets. And that's all I wear. So I, I, I'm kind of thinking of it as in that respect. If you're in a cooler climate and you're going to wear an undershirt and a jersey, it may be different for you. But these are just my personal needs that I'm after and just sharing some stuff with you here. So those are my pros. Ribs, coverage, complete protection, a good hugging fit for my size. It's a large and a quality look and feel with good materials. Now, the, the, the cons where I'm cho choosing not to keep this are right here. It's very heavy, in my opinion. As soon as I picked it up, I'm like, holy cow. So obviously, I'm adding in the ribs, so that adds weight and this and that. But I wish they had perforated it a lot more, too, because I think it is also going to be too hot for me. I mean, this is all perforated material, if you can see that through there. you know. But only when you stretch it out does the hole get reasonably larger. And it is a thicker, heavier material, which it feels nice in quality, but it's just too heavy for me in South Florida. So it's hot, it's heavy. Uh, I don't care for the sleeve designs. As soon as I got it, the sleeve was falling off because these are zippered off sleeves. If I wanted my elbow pads to come off, I would cut them off or buy it without elbow pads. I think that's a, a hokey design where that's just gonna be trouble. The other thing is they leave these open things on the front of your bendy arm area where your arm bends there, your inside of your elbow. That doesn't work for me because I am bushwhacking and trailblazing and the pricker bushes and the branches obviously hook on your arms right in that perfect spot and they're going to rip you apart. I literally am saved from ripping my skin open on prickers and branches by the sleeve on my fox armor that I currently ride. I ride the older Titan Fox right now, which is trashed and I you know, blew it apart when I broke my collarbone wrecking on the MX track. And I've patched it up five times by now, but it's just nasty. I still use it, just used it this week. It works good, it's cool, it's light, it's comfortable for me. The tail end of it is a little long, but I like that, but it's also a little bit uncomfortable. I could cut it off, but I am just looking for something a little more up to date and uh, cleaner. <laughs> so, all right, the cons, like I said, heavy, hot, open sleeves, and don't care for that zipper design. Where, uh, and then it's inhibiting. It fits really good like it's custom fit, but it's kind of almost like a little too much in that you feel inhibited, like your motion and you don't feel light and mobile in it, in my opinion. Um, I don't also, I also think they could have, for the price, it's like 325 bucks, I think, uh, if I'm correct there. I, I think they should have reinforced how they hold their panels together. Now, what happened on my Fox Titan when I broke my collarbone was that this was connected to the, the, the shoulder panel was connected to the chest panel with a nylon strap. However, it was sewn in to this weak foam meshing and that's all. So when I wrecked, it blew it apart like nothing. It was like paper mache, it came apart. Now, I'm not saying it would have saved my collarbone. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that 
they did improve it in the more current Titan. They used those nylon straps that, you know, like practically that you tie down, you know, the tie downs on your motorcycle. Those type of straps will never come apart if they're sewn in or continuous through the system. In other words, they could attach a nylon strap, sew it in, so that it travels through the system and it can never be like torn or ripped from a weaker material. Now, it may not understand what I mean by that, but if you look at the older Titan jacket, it can tear out, like I said, the newer one, the strap is contiguous to hold these panels together. Now, this one, I feel like if you fell, these panels get pretty mobile because of the stretchy, lightweight material just holding them in position. Now, I know, you know, the odds of having your panel in the right exact spot when you hit the rock or the ground or whatever, uh, it's just kind of pure luck anyway. But anyhow, I do think that they should have something that kind of uh, ties it all together that is kind of ballistic proof in a sense. And it's not a complicated thing to do. It's not expensive. Um, so I think it should be improved there. All right, so for me, it doesn't pass what I need. I think it's a beautiful product. If you don't mind the weight and the little bit hotter feel of this thing, you're going to get a lot of protection, I think, with this. Um, everything, you know, everything seems to fit well and, and uh, feel, feel, feel really quality. I hope that helps you guys. I'm going to return it. I do have an Alpine Star uh, Bionic, I think V2 or something like that coming, and I'll show you that when I get it. Talk to you later. Hope that helps. Appreciate any likes and subscribes. Take care.